What's up guys this is Ronnie welcome back to our channel total technology this is tutorial 37 and as I told you in last video so I just came up with another tutorial with return clause but this is going to be the last tutorial with return clause and after that I'll start the other uh, keywords so I thought that uh, probably two three things are still missing with return clause so I just uh, created this tutorial but this is going to be very small and tiny tutorial but I'll be going to cover uh, uh, three more topics with return one with return with uh, as keyword one is return for optional match and one is return with count okay so if I go to the next slide so again this is always same because what is written clause uh, I just uh, uh, took it from uh, Neo4j official documentation so if you uh, go through their tutorial or their guide then you'll, so you'll find the same thing so main part is written with column alias so what is column alias so let me quickly tell you something uh, match n sorry return n dot name so this is going to return the name property from all the nodes okay but now if I make it kind of a name so I'm, I'm just taking name underscore of the mm, or name property okay so I just use a alias for the column property over here and I so, sorry note property over this is known as a column and I just uh, uh, get the same value from there so this is actually using a alias and for that we had to we have to use the as keyword so let me with as keyword okay so this is very simple so let me write down this thing over here okay so the next thing is return with optional property optional property means the property could be uh, exist or not depending it depends but this is not going to throw any error let's say if I put title so the title property is not present so it is going to return null say null so this is not error actually so in that case this is known as optional property we are not sure about the we are not sure actually about the property whether it is present or not so again so this is nothing new for this case return null okay and the last thing is with count keyword count means you, you, you can uh, like uh, return the uh, number of times or the number of times the node is available within the graph so match in return count in see count is 6 if you want to re-verify this thing match in sorry let's check one two three four five six total six nodes and this here also it is known six you can use this thing here count as count of nodes here as well you can use see six here also I use alias so alias can be used with count keyword as well so let me write down this thing twice okay so this is very simple uh, with written with count keyword written for optional and written with as keyword so I think this is um, like almost uh, 
completed for return clause definitely you can do many other things with return like you can use mathematical operator other things but again all those tutorials are already covered so i'm not gonna stretch this tutorial so then it will be difficult for me and as well as the students who uh, like concentrate the other part but don't worry guys as i told you this is not the end of this course so the course will be uh, very long and detailed probably more than uh, 100 more videos will be uploaded so in between if i feel something or in between the tutorial if you guys feel something please let me know i'll definitely try to make another or more than one uh, course or tutorial and we'll uh, use that and as well after the uh, course ends i will create another separate section for exercise maybe more than 10 or 15 different courses uh, sorry 10 more than 10 or 15 uh, videos with the exercise then also it will help you guys to do some sort of practice actually i'm uh, taking time to create all those exercise or practice lessons so that it should actually help you it is not like that i can take it from google and just give it to you then it will be easier you guys can uh, use google for your help definitely you guys can do google or stack overflow but let me think on that i'm just uh, uh, developing that exercise part and i will definitely upload that soon so that once you complete this course and after you uh, do the practice with the exercise then definitely it will help you to next uh, achieve the next level so that's all guys that's all for today hope to see in the next video till then take care goodbye and please let me know uh, how you guys are uh, like uh, are finding this video whether it is uh, definitely uh, making any sense or not and also if someone is watching our video for the first time i highly recommend you guys to please subscribe to our channel hit the like button and also bell icon so uh, again uh, that's all that's all for today hope to see you in the next video oh sorry guys i forgot to uh, do the same thing with the python sorry guys so let me okay the same query i just copy paste it from there and if i put it here so this is going to return six six and i do okay so there are total three i'm not sure how many queries will be there let me write down all the queries so it will be easier for all of you q3 okay this is also going to return six the next thing will be Q1, okay. Mm. This is for optional thing, but again, this is always the same. There is nothing new for optional. So, oh, sorry, I did a mistake. Uh, record count is six, okay actually i forgot to do this thing so this is going to return null always so see null or name property is none okay the last will be this one well q1 q2 q3 and there will be another thing with q4 okay and let's write this thing over here so this is going to return all the names like maradona messi argentina whatever name properties available within the notes it will return so quite like simple i hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial initially it was kind of difficult but now i think we have completed more than uh, like 37 this is 37 37 video or tutorial with neoforge i think you guys already developed your base for understanding the concepts so if you still uh, like uh, uh, waiting for like uh, i'm not sure <laughs> like if you if you guys are not doing uh, practice or uh, kind of uh, uh, writing your own code then i'll highly recommend you guys to do 
that thing because in the later uh, part probably from next week onwards i'll be going to start the advanced topic like other keywords with other clause so that time it will be difficult so please 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 um, try to uh, use your own thought process try to use your uh, like own uh, logic build your own logic and write down the codes using your like uh, uh, thought process probably you can develop your own use case or you can do some sort of practice as well or else if you're not going to do any practice then just uh, whatever tutorial i'm just uh, uploading you can write down the same code or same thing until or unless you are writing your own code by your own self will definitely forget all the concepts and the things and the syntax so that's all guys that's all for today hope to see in the next video till then take care goodbye and don't worry i'll upload all the uh, slides and the codes as a source code in the tutorial so see you in the next video till then take care goodbye and have a nice weekend uh, sorry guys one small correction in the beginning of the video or the tutorial I just say this is tutorial 37 then I realize uh, once I uh, complete the tutorial it is actually 37 not 37 36 so I changed this part to, to tutorial 36 so just ignore my uh, initial comments on tutorial 37 so this is tutorial 36 in the next tutorial it will be 37 so uh, apart from this everything will be similar so sorry guys sorry for the small uh, like uh, a mistake that's all bye once again see you in the